Hello again, YouTubers. Automate SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with our SpongeBob Comics number 34 review video. Now we pop, uh, we promised you guys uh, this video and a previous video and a previous video and a pre no technically the previous video and a previous 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 video, but whatever it's here now. All right, so um, yeah, this is. Uh, part of our sponge, uh, summer comics week, which technically got extended because I was really busy in the last week and I had a lot of work to do. So, apologize for the delay, but anyways, it's finally here. So, uh, we're going to switch to picture mode, and now let's take a look. So, this is titled Ride em Horsey Pants. And, um, Showdown at the Shady Shows, part 3 of 5. Now, spoiler, you won't get to find out who that mysterious guy is. Um, in this issue, by the way. So, yeah. Anyways, let's take a look right here. Uh, this is the a really, really cool artwork, actually, I must say. I didn't notice this, uh, but this is really cool. Uh, SpongeBob Comics 34, featuring the adventures of SpongeBob SquarePants and his aquatic friends, printed in Beauty Quebec, Canada, June 23rd. So, the first story here is the Shucklings, Shucking. The shucking seahorse, alright? So, um, well, yeah, basically what I'll do here is I'll just go through the entire thing, talking about general stuff here. And, uh, you probably, you guys probably won't listen to me while I'm talking, uh, because you want to see what the story has to talk, uh, has to share about. But nonetheless, um, yeah, I'll do a review of the entire comic strip, the end of the comic strip. Uh, comic not comic story actually it's not really a comic strip it's not that short so um, yeah but anyways uh, as I was gonna uh, mention from the previous video I said that uh, video schedule will be uh, one video per week from now on um, unless there is an urgent video um, and yeah basically um, this is to because you know I don't really have a lot of content to show you guys in I mean like in general and also, I'm uh, really, really busy, so apologize for that. But definitely, in that single, vi uh, single per week, uh, no, single video per week, you know, I'll make sure uh, it's gonna be good. All right, so um, not just a random video with nothing, no substance, right? So, anyways, um, hope you guys can understand. Uh, but. Uh, several of you have been uh, commenting and uh, messaging, uh, sending me a, a, a PM, uh, asking me when the next DVD unboxing will be. Um, stuff that has to do with unboxings because, um, yes, I we've really been lacking in that uh, that aspect of the channel. We've haven't been able to do an unboxing for months now. Um, and, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and by the way, SpongeBob gets to stay on for 22 seconds. That's a pretty good feat. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, look at that expression. Uh, change in emotion. Okay, so, anyways, um... Yeehaw. And yeah, Sandy wins. <laughs> so, anyways. Corny, yeah. So, so he tries to offer them for discount coupons for Krabby Patties. All right, so that was a pretty good one, I must say. Again, the art was awesome, and the storyline, I give it a perhaps four four point five at the most. Uh, I wouldn't say it's too perfect, but it was pretty good. Alright, so now, 
Um, now this is going to have a higher rating. So I'm going to go according to the arrows. And by the way, it's a chain. So you guys have to follow the arrows accordingly. I mean, I'm following the arrows for you guys, so you guys can just see how it goes. And then it starts all again. Wow, right? So yeah, by the way, this is the wooden plank here that he copied, copied the uh, recipe down. So, posture perfect. Shoulder straight, rear out. Hmm, something's not quite right. <laughs> yeah. And check this out. How's this? Wow, perfect. Yeah, I like this. I really like this. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now it's again Sponge Funnies by Kochalka. And um, this time we have Relaxing Getaway. So, why are you sitting in a hole? Oh, is this a hole? I thought it was a sea watermelon. Why would you be si uh, why would you be sitting in a sea watermelon? Because I'm on vacation. That doesn't make sense at all, honestly. Okay, now the next one is called Sick Day. Uh, hey, why aren't you wearing a tie? You always wear a tie. Is your tie on vacation too? No, don't be ridiculous. The truth is, my tie is very sick. I'm taking it to the doctor. I think it has the measles. Or maybe the polka dots. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. A Spongebob Cox pinup. So, carefully remove the next two pages if you want to post artist Tim Truman's version of how the West was dumb. Wow. So, from the producers of A Fistful of Dolphins and A Few Sand Dollars More, directors, screenplay music, The Good, The Pet, and The Squiddy, United Plankton Studios. Wow. Wow, right? Wow. The Good, The Pet, and The Squiddy. That's pretty cool. The Good, The Pet, and The Squiddy. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool pinup. I mean, like, this guy must have put in a lot of effort to make this. I wouldn't be able to do it, honestly. So, thanks a lot to artist Tim Truman for making that awesome, awesome pinup. So, next up, we have Inviting Disaster. So, uh, basically, what we have here is Squidward is uh, just try uh, listening to his records. And, uh,. Yeah, I, I don't really... So they leave anyway because they're tired of listening to classical music. And, yeah. <laughs> Send a telegram. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, Clarin Clarinetsky. Wow, basically he's dead. <laughs> I sure you, I sure hope you've got cupcakes because I went a lot of trouble to get here. <laughs> yeah, God. So yeah. Anyways, it's the showdown at the Shady Shows, part three of five, a SpongeBob comic soggy serial. So who won the first battle? We still do not know. And a mysterious stranger who's tracking Spongebob and Patrick. Yeah, by the way, spoiler again, he's not going to be revealed. He, he's obviously going to be kept secret until the last issue. I mean, the last uh, part, which is actually part 36. No, issue 36, excuse me. Issue 35 is coming out August, so this month. And um, next month we'll have issue 30, uh, September. Yeah, next month. Issue 36. So anyways, you guys can pause wherever you want. Um... Uh, again, this is just the uh, continuation of the. Uh, okay, maybe it wasn't so good to zoom in, huh? Probably like that. And suddenly, they were attacked by every single villain in the entire wall! That is ridiculous. Destroy those two and the ocean is ours. What a horrible coincidence! Wow. 
and okay this is totally ridiculous uh -huh. and then um, so yeah they SpongeBob says that they team up join forces to defeat the greater enemy Pride kept them in part and yeah so respect consideration okay and yeah and this is ridiculous and then when the two bitter enemies became best friends a power awoke in them that was far greater than the world had ever known the power of friendship so basically they managed to defeat all the villains I think that's the last of them wow even holding the, the flag there whatever you call it it's, it's technically a pair of shorts but and uh yeah limited united friendship mermaid man and virgo reganto took on all of the world's problems from the big ones uh with friendship the world's energy crisis is no longer a concern pollution doesn't stand a chance friendship strengthens the economy basically printing money wow right to the little ones friends don't let it rain on saturdays that's ridiculous Friends don't let TV remotes stay lost. And friends don't let friends be bald. Wow. That is ridiculous. Oh yeah, by the way, I like the SpongeBob Doodle. Um, it's on every uh, every page here. So friendship. The power of friendship solved all the problems in the world. And everything was perfect. And there was no more troubles or supervillains. And everyone was happy. And, 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 and until one day... Uh... Oh dear, who will help me cross this busy intersection? Not to disaster. So, and then they started, and they picked up right where they left off. Wow. So who won the fight? Hmm, I'm not sure. It didn't happen that way. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, so they're going to settle it once and for all. And, uh, yay, we're going to find out who won the battle between... Mermaid Man and Virgo Riganto. Well, it's about time. This thing is taking forever to be continued. And. Dun 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 dun. Meanwhile, the mysterious stranger is closer than ever to catching up with SpongeBob and Patrick. They're the pestering the guys in room 18. Thank you. I've traveled far. I've traveled so far. Waited so long. Finally, I can give SpongeBob and Patrick what's coming to them. The stranger's identity will almost certainly be revealed in our next issue. Now, what my guess is, is that this guy, well, he seems to be a fish, but still not a, he could be uh, like a human or something. That'd be cool. Maybe a pirate, Patchy the Pirate. <laughs> you never know. But we'll see in next month's issue, episode, uh, issue 36, that will be September. We, I hope to get the... Uh, video up in September. So the language that made a manchovy out of danchovy. So right. I don't really get it. What awarded the Herbo Prize for the most nautical beat packs? What's that? I don't get it. And um, yeah, Virgo Riganto owns his own TV. <laughs> like, duh. Okay, if you, mo if you mail this for today, you also get to visit your local post office. Yeah. Wow, wow, that, that's amazing, right? Okay. The Lost City, bottom of the ocean, inside a mountain. Please, please turn me into a man, Jovi, with these courses. I enclose a small chest of gold in exchange. For your princely wisdom. Print name, age, address, body of water. Wow. This kind of rules to ex es Esperanto exists. Okay. And a trip. Trippich. Trippich. I don't know how you pronounce that. Apologize if I'm wrong. Oh, salty stories. Plankton's Playtime. Stupid cool. And part 4 of the amazing 5 part story showdown to shady shows this August in Spongebob Comics 35. And lastly, we have Mixed Signals. Now this one, 
I particularly like this one for some reason. Uh, yeah, I'll blow some bubble messages to my Facebook Scott and see if he's okay. So now they want to pretend, uh, pretend to be uh, cowboys. And uh, he got Patrick to go up to the mountain and uh, um, blow the bubbles, the signal. But, and he sees the bubbles. Watch out for monkey hats. Patrick, watch out for monkey hats. What are you talking about? So apparently Patrick is just sleeping. And... <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, I particularly like this, particularly like this issue, because it's based around the Old West, a little bit at least, um, and I really like uh, the Old West. I like country music a lot, I believe you guys know that, if you don't, I'm, now you know, right? Um, and yeah, so that's all for this video, thank you guys for watching this video, and supporting Ultimate Spongebob 101. So, in the next video, we'll have uh, either our new stuff video for August 2014, uh, which is the first new stuff video we've had in, like, uh, uh, the first new stuff video we'll have in 2014, by the way. And uh, a new, first new stuff video in, like, uh, over 10 months, maybe, I think. So, yeah. Or the SpongeBob Amusement Park walkthrough in Monkey Quest. So that's all for this video at 16 minutes. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to keep it right here on Ultimate SpongeBob 101. See you guys next time. Bye.